Welcome to Resman Help. In this session we provide an overview of maintaining equipment libraries in Resman. Our equipment library is in Asset and in our Actions section we've got the library system. The library system opens in the Maintain Libraries option and all of the transaction types including library reports can all be run from this section here. We use the Maintain Libraries option for adding equipment into a library with this option, removing equipment from a library and changing the status of a library item. That status is typically whether it's available for loan, whether it's work in progress or whether it's not available. The library module always opens in the default library and our default library is medical equipment and in our drop down list here we've got three system filters at the top of all assets, assets in a library, assets not in a library and then the libraries that we have set up are listed below. A little tip here is that with the All Assets option, if you're sharing your asset register between medical electronics and estates, clearly that will have a combination of all of the assets. But on our filter row here, we've actually got a view type here, and we can filter between EBME and estates. If you want any further clarification on sharing your register, please speak to Resman Support. When we first set up the system, each of the libraries will clearly be empty, they won't have any uh, data in. But let's say, for instance, you wanted every piece of medical equipment to automatically go into the library, then we would simply go into our all assets or assets not in a library we would then use select all and we could copy or put all of those items into a library in one go. Potentially you might want to have a more structured approach to that because the library can um, have areas and we call them bin locations and although they're free format text you could have a wall, a room, or whatever is the most appropriate description for your operation. So I'm going to choose assets not in a library. And we know that what we'd like to add in now to um, our medical equipment library is some cardio check blood analyzers. And if I go into the model field in the filter row and I type in there, Cardio if I could spell check O1 and that finds five items. I then click on select all and we'll add those to a library. Our add equipment library box that opens here lets us use the drop down list to select which library and we'll say medical equipment library then we enter a bin reference and I, as I mentioned before uh, this is free format text and I should mention that there's no validation on this so care should be taken when doing this because we can filter for the bin reference so try and keep to the same conventions in your naming and that will improve accuracy. So I'll put this on wall three and when I click save they'll go into the library and their status will be that they're available. So now they've gone into the library I'm back to medical equipment and I've gone from 88 items to 93. If for any reason we needed to remove items from a library, we do exactly the same process in reverse. So I'll go into model and I'll do cardio check 
check 01 and that finds my five items I could do select all and remove from the library but I'm going to use this data for um, further videos for request and return so I'm going to leave the first item 9624 the second item I'm going to show you how we can change the status so the three records that I'll remove will be the, the bottom three and I'll click on remove from library am I sure I want to remove these and I'll say yes and we've now gone down to 80 records in our library the final maintenance item is to change status and I'll click on that I can then in enter an asset ID and one of the ones that we've just entered which has got a status of available was 98741 bearing in mind that if you had barcode labels on your equipment items you would just be scanning that at this point we there's our cardio check blood analyzer we'll change the status we don't want this to be available so I'll say not available that's a user definable option that's been put in there that we put in the control file when we um, click save it will automatically give it a, uh, a unique change reference if we wanted to put any details in there we could say something like requires cleaning and we'll click on save and we've now changed its status so with those three transaction types of adding into the library removing from a library and changing the status we have covered all of the items in maintaining our equipment libraries in Resman.